In this presentation, we will set up a new company file within QuickBooks Online. For more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info. Here we are on the Intuit website. So we're on the quickbooks.intuit.com website. So quickbooks.intuit.com. Intuit is going to be the owner of QuickBooks. If you are a bookkeeper that has multiple clients, you want to look into the QuickBooks Accountant version. Make sure you're looking into QuickBooks Accountant to help you to manage those multiple files. They might actually help you as well to give discounts to clients through that as well. When the file is set up, we can add the file to QuickBooks Accountant as well so we can manage it from the QuickBooks Accountant dashboard and have the multiple clients within the dashboard. If you're just purchasing this for your own purposes, for your own bookkeeping that you're going to do on a cash basis, then this is an area where you can do it from the QuickBooks uh, Intuit website. So usually there's going to be some type of offer that they have. We have the 30-day offer here. So we're going to look into that 30-day offer. If you're purchasing this just for the course, which you may want to do, then you want to make sure that you're maximizing whatever discount they give us within that 30 days. So make sure that you have enough time to basically do the 30-day trial uh, get as much out of the 30-day trial as you need to. We're not going to purchase any other additions to it. So we don't need like payroll or any other uh, options that would cost more to work the file. It would be great if you were able to work through a clean company file and enter the same data uh, through that time period because then you really get to see the same data. But you can also use the same information and use the QuickBooks free trial version or use uh, your own company file to just see the data and work through how it would be input. Actually manually inputting the same numbers, however, would be the best option. And to do that, you would need to start a new uh, clean company file. And to do that, you want to make sure that you have a time to maximize uh, whatever costs it would be and possibly go through it and then, uh, and then stop the trial at the end of that time period. So we're going to go through the 30-day free trial. You have different options over here. So this is just the, the current options they have for the 30 day free trial. Normally when setting up QuickBooks Plus is gonna be the most popular. So if you're working on this for a new company file, the Plus version is typically uh, gonna be the most popular one. You can compare and contrast these options. The things that are different, of course, will be down below. The tracking of the projects, the track inventories, and the managed 1099s for contractors. This piece is nice because we are using, however, uh, mostly clients hopefully that don't have inventory or are managing inventory outside of the system we may not be able we may not need to track the inventory within the system so in a system such as ours we may not need the, the most popular version which would be the plus version we could then go down to the essentials and you can see the essentials and the, the difference between the essentials and the simple start is the manage the bills uh, and having multiple users so this this feature is where you probably would want to have the, the essentials because you probably want to have yourself, if you have a bookkeeper and someone else, then you probably want to have multiple people uh, that could possibly manage or go into the QuickBooks file. So that could be a useful feature here. However, if this is just for your own personal file or if this is just for the practice file, then you may not need that option as well. And then if we go to this one, the simple start, the $10 a month, you can see, of course, that it doesn't have the manage the bills or the multiple features. And that's the one we're going to work with here. So we're going to work with this one and go with the price that we have here and uh, go through this hopefully in the first month. And this would probably be the lowest one you'd want to basically go with on this system. However, you might be able to get away with the self start here with uh, the self employed as well. So you'll note you can compare and contrast these two, the major difference being maximize the tax deduction and then we have the track sales tax as well so this one is probably the one that might stop us from being able to jump over to the self-employed from the simple start because if we have and that usually applies it depends it's going to differ from state to state but if we're in a state that has a sales tax and oftentimes that's going to be sales tax on things like inventory so if we don't have inventory we may not have sales tax and therefore this won't be an option and maybe that'll be allowing us to jump over to the self-employed however if there is any kind of need for us to track that sales tax then of course this is going to be the option we'll need on the simple start we're going to go with the simple start here for the example problem 
We would then enter our basic information here, which would be the email address, first name, last name, phone number, and password. We can do so by signing up with the Google account as well. Then we would enter the payment information. Then we'll need the name of the business to continue on. And then we're going to say whether how long we have been in business. We're going to say a year or less than a year for this company file. And then we'll check this item off if we're converting the data from the desktop version. In other words, if we already had the data on a desktop version and we want to transfer that file to the online version, then that's a bit of a, a technical conversion process. That's going to be more difficult than just say an upgrade. In other words, if we were to upgrade the version here, to another online version not too difficult if we want to transfer the data from desktop version to online then intuit really wants to make that possible but that's a bit of a more difficult uh, transition to go from desktop to online or vice versa so you want to make sure you know which system you want to be dealing with desktop or online and do that at the beginning if possible that'll make the, the process easier although uh, they're getting better and better at that uh, transfer of data from the desktop to online so we're not going to check that off we're going to go next and then we're going to have our information screen and we're going to set all so we're going to all set and go to the next tab and that'll set up our company file so our, our company file is set up and that's it we're basically good to go we can start to enter our data from here for more accounting information and accounting courses visit our website at accountinginstruction.info